So this is the Hamza guy. He's explaining the navigating differences document. He's explaining it and defending it against my criticisms. So what does he say? For example, I got a question just yesterday. Someone says, I work in a school and there is a, a student, I'm a teacher, and there's a student that identifies as a gender other than theirs and says, use the pronouns they, them for me. Don't say whatever gender that person is was born with. Is this permissible or not? Now, in terms of a purely simple fiqhi hukum, right? I said, well, if, are you going to get fired? What's going to happen? You know, no, no one's going to fire me. They're not going to be happy with me if I uh, choose not to, you know, comply. But I'm also not going to get fired. It's just something ambiguous in the middle. On the face of it, to say they them is not to misgender a person. It's just to avoid the, the issue of what their gender is in the first place. But then a person has to understand that things are, again, more complicated than that. On one side, if you don't misgender the person and you make them happy, it's actually a sunnah to call people by the name that they f f feel honored by and to, in general, not be a, uh, a person who is just harsh and abrasive for no reason. So this is a Hamza Maqbul saying, yeah, use their pronouns. This is the sunnah. <laughs> this is the sunnah, yeah. You know, gender pronouns, call them what they ask. That's the sunnah. <laughs> you know, this is this is one of the drafters, one of the writers of this navigating differences. And he's such a traditional imam. Oh, subhanAllah. So he's saying explicitly, it's the sunnah to use them by the pronouns that they choose, the names that they choose. This is the sunnah. <laughs> Wow, unbelievable, unbelievable. No wonder this guy loves Imam Zaid Shakir so much. The the Imam who says that, yeah, we need a third space for you know anyone who Muslim transgender, we need a third space. Of course they Hamza Mahbu loves <laughs> Zaid Shakir. They're they're peas in a pod. He's like, Yeah, of course. It's Sunnah to respect their pronouns. <laughs> That's the name that they've chosen, chosen for themselves. Don't be harsh. Don't be harsh. This is this is the peaceful coexistence, okay, that he's referring to in his document that he co-wrote according to himself because in this same podcast, he says that he is one of the drafters of the document along with Yasir Qadi, Omar Sulaiman, and Hatim al-Hajj.